so I hooked up my GoPro to the car. I drove the entire Two Oceans half marathon route. Showed that footage to these two professionals, and while some of their tips will help all marathon runners, all of their tips will help running the Two Oceans half marathon for the first time. Okay, so this is where it starts. This is uh, Newlands, Dean Street. I'm about to start. What do I need to know? So get up early, get up four o'clock, you know, you know, do something different and just make, you sure, make sure you're there on time and at least get the anxiety of finding parking. You know, it's all those things. Have you been to the loop? Get all those things out the way and just get to the start as soon as possible because, you know, there's a lot of people and, and parking is an issue. Um, it's dark and it's cold. So just be prepared. Your mindset early on the race is all about holding back. Don't get caught up in the people running past you because way too many people get caught up and then they run too fast for the whole first part of the race, maybe the first 10 k's. And then towards the end of the race, you see everybody walking and they, and, and they finish. It's all about conserving energy. It's about looking after your knees, your ankles, your hips, your feet, because those are the things that sort of are, those things matter towards the end. So look after yourself. Hold back, rather finish stronger. It is very steep. Um, so once again, uh, as much as I've said it before, it's all, you, you hear one strong note coming to look after yourself. It's because it's so steep, and I, I'm, none of us do enough of that kind of steep running often enough. So walk slowly, maybe do a walk, run, walk, run, you, so that your muscles can, every time you do it, you, you, you almost giving your muscles a chance, you know, to, to finish. And this will also help you towards the end as well. Don't try and make up time now. Trying to get your breathing properly going down there. Huh? That, that's what I would advise. That's the thing for you to do when you get to the top is you're going to say to yourself, hey, I must make up time now. You're going in a downhill, but the, the danger is for you to even burn yourself out even more by trying to make up time. You can never, never do that, especially when, when you, if you started too fast, you've done the deal, you wanted to do the deal in one shot. At the beginning of the race, there's a lots of excitement. Um, yeah, just to be very, very careful with that. You know? As I said earlier, it's all about looking after your body and conserving for the full 21 phase. If you don't at any point feel that you need to catch up and make up time, I mean, obviously one has to make sure that you get to the finish line in your, three, in your under three hours. That's, that's the only part at this point which you need to be concerned about. But I would tell you to, because it's your first one, I don't think you're overtrained. In fact, I think you're undertrained. Walk, walk. Um, every couple of k's because walking is a great form of recovery and, and, and you, can, you, you can sort of almost feel your muscles come back and that sort of thing. So don't be afraid to walk. So you've done Edinburgh, yeah, you've got done Edinburgh, you've done now the Weinberg Hill going down. Um, they, they fret because of Southern Cross. They think once they get to the top of Southern Cross, it's done, but it's not really done. But it, so Southern Cross is always going to be lots of people on there. Um, to tackle that is to take it in small bite-sized pieces. And it's very undulating actually, you're going to get uh, a spot where it's almost fairly level. So taking it in bite-sized pieces is the best way. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. So that, that's your aim, to break, break it down to bite-sized pieces, get to the top and then yeah, take it from there. You actually need to break the ocean's half marathon into three bite-sized pieces. Seven, 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 and you will find that in all seven there's a hill that you get. Yeah? That, that's how you need to break it down. Yeah. First seven, Edinburgh. Second seven, Southern Cross. Third seven is um, I think call it Roads Drive or the M3. That's that's the one. And a lot of people disregard that last hill, um, and that's where. Also, a lot of danger and a lot of loss of loss of time happen. Yeah. 
So what you tend to do is when you get to the top of Southern Cross, now you think, hey, the race is not behind me. And if you get a nice decline going down from Southern Cross, it's a little bit of uphill to the top, top gate, but then you get steep downhill. All right. And there you, you can really let go. So wherever you can find a flat pot, and they are towards the, um, on the verge, you can always find flat pots. So when you can, where you can find a flat pot, go towards it. Um, and also, it's, it's only really at the bend where you find those really walk there, you know? There's, there are always ways and means around it. Listen, also, just, just another little note, when you're running Daniel, mm. so you've got walking muscles, you've got running muscles, flat running muscles, you've got downhill muscles, you've got uphill muscles. So, yeah. so just be aware of it. So don't try to run too fast Daniel too. Because that's also, that, because you, you, there's a breaking, you, without you even realizing, there's a breaking stance every time. So yeah, that's I called an eccentric, that. that's, that's eccentric movement. Yeah. As opposed to concentric movements that you normally do. So your body's also not too used to that. So just don't run too fast down. So you will, you will push yourself there from top gate all the way down to Kirsten Bus, all the way down to the M3. And then when you take that turn, then you, you start building again because now your quads are shattered because of the downhill, because of the pounding. Um, and you, you, look, you look at your watch, you'll, you'll, you'll have a time in your mind that you want to get. So, yeah, so just be careful to keep in the tank, a little bit in the tank for that last hill. Well guys, um, at this point it's all over. You are at the top, at the finish. Thank you so much for all your help. I mean, I couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you.